You th- Listen, this is not Baptist, okay? This is biblical. This is not some flaming Baptist preacher. This is what the Word of God says. They're getting ready to go to Armageddon, and what are they doing? They erupt in worship. What do you think it means when he says, I, I told them to worship, and next thing I know, this is great sound voices, just I, I, multitude, peals of thunder. Can you imagine those sopranos in that group? Peals of, ooh. that's what he's saying. Let us rejoice and be glad and give the glory to him for the marriage of the Lamb has come and his bride has made herself ready. We will all be on the same page with Christ. We'll be praising the Lord. Jesus, no pretend. Hmm. Let's pray. Yeah. Glory, honor, praise be to the Lamb, for he was slain, and through his blood, we stand before you, God. somebody in this room, head still bowed and eyes still closed, who's yet to receive Jesus Christ as your Savior. It's a good day for that. Good day to give God praise and glory. He'll knock on the door of your heart, but you have to open that door. He won't do it for you. He'll reveal to you who he is. He revealed to you the marvel of grace. Takes the wrath of God and puts it on his son. He'll offer you that grace. Literally like you're picking up a free ticket to the ball game. You got to believe it's yours. You got to believe what Christ did for you. You got to place your faith in the act of Christ on that cross. The Bible says that when you do, you'll be born again, and you'll have eternal life. If you want to receive eternal life today, the way you do it, you come and just say, I want to receive Jesus. I'll help you do the rest. It is my prayer in the name of Jesus, oh, marvelous, wonderful, holy God, that you'd have your way in this church and the people of this church. We'd praise you, honor you, and give you glory. We put aside all those things, God, that act as barriers to worship, all those things that act as barriers, act as barriers to your will in our lives, your purposes in our lives. We put aside our sin, God, knowing that Jesus Christ died for that purpose. Our role is to confess it to you, to believe you've cleansed us of it, and to walk in that freedom and in that forgiveness. So I give you this time. May Jesus Christ be praised. Hallelujah. Amen.